The Duchess of Sussex took the center stage at a polo tournament on Sunday as she presented her husband the Duke a trophy after his team, Los Padres, triumphed at the charity match. Meghan stunned in a polka dot blouse, black wide brim hat and wide leg shorts for the star-studded event in Santa Barbara. As he presented the Lyle Nixon Memorial Trophy, Meghan kissed the cheek of each Los Padres team member. When it came to her doting husband Harry, however, the Duchess happily took his face between her hand and gave him a more impassioned kiss on the lips. After they embraced on the podium, the former actress couldn't help but giggle as the crowd cheered for the Sussexes. The Duchess, who donned a bright red lipstick, stained Harry's lips with her kiss and was quick to wipe the color off with her fingers after seeing what had happened. The glamorous royal then stood among the polo players and posed for a picture as they raised their cup. The charity match was organized by the Sussexes and was in support of several local charities, including Food Back Santa Barbara County, Heal the Ocean and Calm for Kids. These organizations concern causes close to the Sussexes' heart, including the environment, mental health and fighting hunger. Among the attendees at the match there was comedian and actress Rebel Wilson, who shared a photo with the Duke after the match. Taking to her Instagram to publish a picture showing herself and the Duke posing with two more people, Ms. Wilson simply wrote, Team Harry. Another attendee was Amanda Wynn, a social entrepreneur, activist and founder of RISE, a civil rights organization. Harry and Meghan's kiss on the podium was reminiscent of another famous royal kiss taking place after a polo match, the one shared by Princess Diana and Prince Charles in 1985. Four years after their fairy tale wedding at St. Paul's Cathedral, the Princess of Wales handed her husband a trophy after his team won a match at the Guards Polo Club in Windsor Castle. She then kissed him on the lips, much like the Duke and Duchess did yesterday. Meghan and Harry's latest public kiss wasn't the first one shared in a similar setting. In other news, the Queen has been warned that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's presence at the Platinum Jubilee next month could result in them being an unwelcome sideshow to her special weekend. Her comments come ahead of the events taking place from June 2 to June 5 to celebrate Her Majesty's 70 years on the throne, which Harry and Meghan said they were excited and honored to be invited to. But last week royal commentator Camilla Tomini said it is important the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not take away the limelight from working members of the family, including Princess Anne, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Earl and Countess of Wessex. She said it is vital next month's celebrations are about the Queen. She explained, you can include the Sussexes, but you don't want some sort of Harry and Meghan side show going on when the main event must be HMQ the Queen and equally there will be other members of the royal family who are still doing the daily grind who will resent being overshadowed by Harry and Meghan even if they don't admit it. You're not going to want to have the likes of Princess Anne and the Earl and Countess of Wessex for instance who day in day out plant trees, unveil plaques and go to the openings of royal envelopes only to have the media completely focus on Harry and Meghan who aren't playing a role at all in the so-called family. Many online royal fans appear to agree with their statement, with one saying that their self-serving antics could draw bad attention to themselves. Another even said that the pair should not have been invited in the first place following their public criticism of the royal family. Meghan and Harry will not be seen alongside the Queen on the balcony of Buckingham Palace after Her Majesty decided the privilege should be reserved only for working members of the firm. Their upcoming visit will be the first time the Queen meets Prince Harry's U.S.-born daughter, Lilibet Diana, who is now 11 months old.